Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my top five favorite highlighters. They are not in any particular order, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one I have here is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Oh So Darling or sorry oh darling this one was pretty hard to find um it used to get sold out all the time but when it got re-released -re i ran into a macy's and i grabbed it for myself and this is one of the most um metallic highlighters that i own when it comes to single pan eyeshadow mm, highlighters not eyeshadows i'm eyeshadow obsessed but yeah this one has a very nice metallic sheen to it it's a highlighter with a very coppery undertone so I am very much into gold highlighters so this is one of my favorites next I have wet n wilds reserve your cabana this one is actually a bronzer it doesn't look anything like a bronzer not for my skin tone this is my second pan I um, actually hit pan on the first one and then it broke into pieces and this is how the swatch looks in my hand um, I know it looks nothing it just looks like a beige peachy beige powder but honestly when you um, highlight it in your t-zone on your cheeks it has a very nice glow from within look um, you can use it for your no makeup makeup looks and it will be such a good highlighter so yeah this is one of my favorites as well Going back to high end, I have Charlotte Tilbury's Dreamy Glow Highlighter. This one is a pinky tone highlighter, but this one's also like the Wet n Wild. It's very natural, very, very finely milled. The Wet n Wild is not as finely milled as this one, but you know, when you're applying it to your face, you cannot really um, see the texture with that one. It looks so nice, and this one's the same as well the only difference is this is a little bit more pinky tone um, I'm just going to swatch it right here as you can see this has more pink tone than this one but you can see the sheen in this one more than this one but trust me the wet n wild has a very nice sheen to it once you apply it with a brush on your face Going back to a blingy highlighter, I have a NARS Albatross. This is a cult favorite. It has been cult favorite for, favorite for a long time. I don't know if it's still a cult favorite, um, but it's one of my favorites. I don't think there is any dupes for this one. Over here, when you swatch it, it just looks like a yellow-white shadow, like a really very yellowish-white powder. It doesn't have any highlighting effects when I'm moving my finger, but when you apply it to your cheeks, it's very, very glowy. It has a very interesting glow. And this is NARS Albatross on my hand. And let me do a heavier swatch. Yeah. Mine is a bit powdery because it's a little bit old. It's a couple of years old. But honestly, when you apply it to your cheeks, it has a very nice glow. It. I absolutely love this one. Uh, I've tried so many different dupes, but nope. This one's just so different that I had to spend the money on it. But if you're not into like a golden highlighter, like a yellow gold highlighter, then this is definitely not for you because the yellowness is very strong on this one. Coming back to the fifth highlighter this is actually my most favorite out of all five the others are all on the same level but this one is just a little bit different i have a soft spot for this one because um it has both the options of a glow from within as well as a little bit of a sheen um, look it's a palette this is the hourglass ambient light palette the shade in the middle it's a little bit stronger than the ones on the two sides the one dim light, um, this is called dim light, yeah. Dim light is the one that has the glow from within look. These powders are so finely milled um, that they just melt into your skin and I absolutely love them. This third shade is radiant light. This one is a little bit dark but I use it as a bronzer and 
this is how all three shades look this is radiant light and this is incandescent light and this one is dim light dim light is the natural one this is what i use for highlighting my cheekbones and this is what i use to set my face if i want like a glow from within look they are absolutely amazing this is one of my most favorite it, it is my favorite highlighter palette or highlighter so if you're if you don't want the palette just buy the single shadows um if you have lighter skin tone you probably don't need the radiant light so just buy the second one or the first one depending on what kind of highlighter you're looking for but i absolutely love hourglass no doubt about it so i do have two honorable mentions today the first one is a drugstore highlighter it is the one from essence it's an essence pure nude highlighter in the shade be my highlight this is number 10 they used to have just this shade but now they have a darker one as well this one is also like the Wet n Wild and the Charlotte Tilbury. It is very natural, but unlike those two, you can actually see the sheen in this one when it's on the pan. Um, but when you apply it to your skin, oh my goodness, the glow. It's just absolutely beautiful. I did not mention, I had a hard time trying to figure out uh, between this one, the Wet n Wild and the Charlotte Tilbury, but I picked this one in the end because of all the three those two are the ones that i use the most so even though they're all the same it's just i have a i don't know i have a i just love my wet and wild um, highlighter and i have a hard time replacing that one so if i had to let go between this and the wet and wild i'd probably get rid of this than the wet and wild that's why i thought okay you know what i'm gonna put that for a top five and same with the charlotte tilbury one that one is so finely milled that when i was trying to decide i thought you know what i don't have a lot of pinky tone highlighter i mean that's my only pinky tone highlighter so i chose that one over this one because this is more of your common um, champagne gold highlighter but yeah i really really like it i I would definitely recommend if you're trying to build like a drugstore makeup kit I would recommend this one I really like this one so honorable mention number two now this one is actually a palette highlighter palette and I have not mentioned it in the top five because it is limited edition and um, not just any limited edition it's the kind that you cannot find Sometimes there are a lot of palettes that are limited edition, but you can find it in other websites. But this one is so difficult to find. Like every time it got launched, it was sold out within minutes. And I didn't think it was fair to feature it for the top five because a lot of people might not be able to get it right now. But this is the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Palette. Oh my goodness, the highlighters are just so gorgeous. This is what I have on my cheek right here. As you can see, the glowiness is just over the moon. Um, I applied this one here and the Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lights are very, very different. They're very different from all of their other highlighters. They ha I know they have like a strobing highlighter or um, like I, I know that they have, like this one's called, it's called uh, metallic strobe lighting palette so I think the other one's called strobe lighting or stro strobe lights or something like that but it that's nothing like this one that one that one has the sheen but this one is just so different I contemplated on getting this because honestly you don't need like the tenth highlighter in your collection you're never gonna run out of highlighter unless you're using it all over your face like me when I was using the wet and wild reserve your cabana but honestly um when I swatched it, I was like, you know what, I have to get this. And yeah, I ended up getting it. This is just an honorable mention. If you ever see it coming onto the market, please grab it if you can. If not, you are not losing anything. There are so many eye highlighters on the market. There's Becca. I tried the Champagne Pop. I tried Opal. But for some reason, I never really went back um, to using them. So these are highlighters that I repeatedly use so um, that's why I thought they're worth being featured here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future subscribe for more see you soon